Welcome everybody to INE's course on implementing segment routing on Cisco IOS XR and XE. My name is Brian McGann and I'm going to be your instructor for these particular sessions. Uh, I am a CCIE in service provider as well as a bunch of other ones, routing and switching, uh, security, uh, data center, and then also a CCDE. Um, so I have a bunch of experience with MPLS, probably about, about the past 10 years, service provider, actually longer than that, uh, service provider I took back in 2006, so that's 13 years ago going on now. Uh, you can email me, bmcgann, or, or simply brian at ine.com. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on LinkedIn. Uh, any questions that you guys have, I'm more than happy to help uh, offline. Okay, so in this course, what are we going to be covering? First and foremost, we're going to go through a brief overview of segment routing, talk about what specifically it is. Uh, tried to go through the buzzword bingo and kind of demystify the marketing terms from the actual technology. What really is segment routing uh, doing behind the scenes and, and what are some of the additional features that it's adding for us? We'll then look at two main config examples. One network is going to be running OSPF in the core of the service provider and then we're going to be changing LDP over to segment routing. Then we'll have another example with ISIS routing, so very similar to, uh, to OSPF, what's going on behind the scenes. But of course, from a configuration point of view, there's going to be some differences, key differences between a regular uh, OSPF version 2 and then ISIS. Okay, and then last but not least, we're going to take a look, a brief example with MPLS traffic engin engineering, and look at how that changes just a little bit when we're dealing with segment routing as opposed to regular uh, MPLS.